There's international standards, you've got ISO standards, some folks are beholden to both HIPAA and NIST, some folks have to deal with the PCI standards. We advocate test once. Map those controls, we'll help you with these automated adaptive mappings, and then you can produce a body of evidence that's really meaningful for what that requirement is, whether it's PCI body of evidence, a HIPAA body of evidence, or a NIST body of evidence, or an ISO body of evidence. To talk a little bit about that and how they use Exacta in Department of Energy IN, Mr. Russ Marsh. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm going to date myself a little bit here at the start. Uh, I remember being a, a young lieutenant in the Navy, and I was really excited because we were getting some automation. Somebody in our group got a spreadsheet and a Word document with the security controls all laid out, so all we had to do was go line by line through each one of those rows and figure out what we needed to do. And we were real excited. We're done, wrapped up our first package, and they go, great, we're going to share that system with another agency. <clears throat> and we said, okay, great, we'll, we'll sit down, we'll talk to them about what controls, how we implemented them. And we said, great, uh, so what uh, policy structure did you guys use? Oh, we use DITSCAP. Oh, we, we don't use that. We're going to, we need you to do d 6.3. It's like, well, what do we need to do? Well, everything you just did, we need you to basically redo, but with this stuff and follow this procedures. Uh, so then we go fast forward a little bit. And DOD and the IC said, hey, you know what? We really should get kind of on the same page. Why don't we agree to both kind of follow this NIST structure? So out came ICD-503, said everybody's going to migrate. We're going to do CNSS. 1253, great, <clears throat> what do we got to do? Well, all your DSID 6.3 packages, you, you now need to redo in this new format. And that meant going through everything again. So now, fast forward, yet again, everybody's talking about inheritance, how great that is. So, well, great, we're all in the same structure now, same controls. <clears throat> you go talk to somebody to inherit some controls, and it's like, well, what rev are you on? Oh, we're rev 3, sorry, we're on rev 4, this isn't going to work. You finally get on the same revision of 1253. And then it's like, well, hey, we're ready to do this. And OK, did you, are you guys using the broken out controls or the old standard? So there's always seems to be something impeding being able to automate everything all the way through, nice, quick, and easy. And so one of the things, if you're a boss out there and you have an ISSM or whoever writes your SSPs and they like writing those documents, they like doing implementation statements, keep them because it's got to be one of the most boring, tedious jobs I think that's out there. So I am always looking for ways to automate for my folks to be able to make this as quick, efficient, painless as I possibly can, but still be compliant. And as we continue to do more work with other people in the IC or the federal government as part of the DOE, my shop is, we kind of straddle both. Um, we need to work with different folks and their plans, reciprocity and those kinds of things. So we've actually been moving down the path to enable us to inherit controls, share controls across our national labs. And if we need to share a system or if the lab builds a system and it needs to go to another customer, we'll can, we can easily put that now, apparently, uh, put that into, with a few clicks of a button, into their version, into their broken out controls or non-broken out controls, and they'll be able to understand with what they're used to looking at and save my folks uh, a lot of time. Right now, a lot of times, it's almost more of a trust factor if we're sharing something and you don't have the time to walk through each of those controls. You just kind of go, okay, here's what we got, here's how we did it, and hope that it's similar enough that it's not putting the other person at, at risk.